students, ladies and gents, super excited today to have a special guest all the way from the Philippines, but a former Eagle, my friends, and soon to be your friend, Mr. Trey coming in. So Trey, good to see you. Good to have you, my friend. And we can't wait to learn about you. Really quick, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? And most importantly, too, what's your job? What do you do for work? And we'd love to kind of dig into that eventually in an organic way. So thanks, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the intro. Yeah, like you said, Trey Oliver, I'm Sandberg's finest. <laughs> I like to say Sandberg Eagle, graduated in 2011. Since there, went to college, played football, and studied music and radio TV broadcasting which led me to marrying my wife, who is also a Sandberg Eagle. And since then, 2017, we started a company called Wave Enterprise, where we're a multimedia company servicing entrepreneurs with social media content, audio engineering, copywriting, SEO, an umbrella of multimedia, and we get to travel the world doing it. We're currently in the Philippines, and we're loving it. It's a blessing, man. And thanks for having me as well. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely. Uh so you just had a mouthful of things that you're doing. So you have your hands in a lot of different cookie jars and no yes, surprise. You've always been an energetic, charismatic, talented uh, gentleman. So super Thank excited you. to hear a little bit more about that. Uh, could we talk about like a day in the life then of Trey? And it sounds like you and your wife were close together for the same company. So what is it? What does it look like for you guys, for our students to kind of get an image of, all right, a day in the life of Trey, how does that work with clients? Are you emailing? Are you in a computer? What, what, what goes on for a job like this? Good question. And one thing I would say, too, is I was labeled, you know, ADHD as a kid. And one thing that I've had to harness is how to work with my, how to discipline myself. So I, I set things for myself. My wife is more structured, so she offers the balance for me. But a day in the life, like today, we've had meetings. She's already had a meeting. Before this, and I was doing my online class, so we're big into development. So okay. early in the morning, we, we go to class every day. We have our classes that we've invested in, and then we come together for a morning meeting where we do our life admin or actual business admin, and then we go into deep work, our client work, whether it's my clients or her clients, and that's like probably up until lunch. We got to eat, and we also do our own prospecting, so we adopt a lot an hour of day to like responding to Instagram messages or responding to emails, LinkedIn, you know, we, we put an hour so we don't feel guilty if we don't respond to somebody, but we do have structured time. So like, well, a lot, an hour to that, and then an hour to prospecting and, you know, calls and following up, building relationships with our clients. So that will take us probably until seven, we wake up 637. We've already got some stuff going on now. It's about eight, eight or nine now, and we've already got our day going. So you know, our mornings are, are, are our anchor, but yeah, that's, that's, you know, a nutshell of a day in the life. I don't want to ramble too much. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's, that's great. A couple of things I heard. I'd love to dig deeper on when you say prospect, what, what does that mean? Is that you potentially seeking out new clients for your business? Absolutely. Good, good question. Cause these are things we're thinking of like prospecting. We've been doing everything organic. So we're going um, Facebook leads, where it's like Facebook groups where we type in specific things, where it's people looking for podcast audio engineer or SEO writer or things like this. There's groups for everything in Facebook. There's also, you know, LinkedIn is a powerhouse as far as finding people who are, you know, serious about business, serious about looking for people and not just, you know, on social media. So like LinkedIn as well. But we also just invested talking about investing in courses. We just invested in a course yesterday where it gives us templates on how to run Facebook ads to automate our leads. So we're trying to take away from doing, instead of working, we're trying to own and like have leads come to us. And we're in the process of scaling in that sense. We're also gonna hire two VA virtual assistants by the end of the year to kind of do some more of the, the response and like just the things that are taking up a lot of time. And it's a blessing to be where we are, but. We're scaling in that sense. So we're organically getting our leads right now, but we're working on automating that. Okay, Awesome. So Trey, if I have my own small business and I'm looking to get support, what does your company do for like a small business like me? How can you help me so that I can become more successful too? What are some of the things specifically that you do? Absolutely. So one of the 
one of the main thing is social media presence. Okay. And one of the, it's not necessarily a pain point, but one of the most important things that we do if we come with the client is getting intentional about branding. Like okay. what are your brand colors, logo? What's your brand tone? Like, how do you want to speak to your audience? Which platform do you want to dominate? If it's Instagram, if it's LinkedIn, YouTube, we write it down. What are your values? What, you know, if we're doing social media copy and stuff, we do pillars. Like if you're, you have pillars for like self-development and the, you, we, we organize your content around that. So it really helps people get focused about how they're presenting themselves in the digital world. We get on the call and, and I say, you know, talk to you and what do you need? And we actually a la carte and specialize our packages, which one thing we like to sell is it's us. You're dealing with my wife and I, it's very personal and it's, what do you need? It's not just these one size fits all. So when you say STL, what exactly does that mean? SEO, that's actually my wife. She's an expert at this. This is, um, this is search engine optimization. So when you, when you're, you know, searching for a company, if you type in like my artist name, Trey Peace and boom, a bunch of stuff pops up. If, if I'm all the way down and you don't see me first, that's not optimized. So we, wow. we've, we help companies with their copy, whether it's their website copy, their uh, social media copy, optimize their search engine. So like, yeah, that's one thing that we would offer. It's a little bit more technical and it's not as fun to talk about, but that's one thing that we, we do and offer and it's important. So we love to add that value to the marketplace. Oh, no, I love that. Thank you for clarifying. With me, it sounds like you have a lot of different options for me as a company to help me just so that I can get my name out there. So when people think of my business, they know what we stand for. They know what we offer. And sometimes it's not, does it, is it safe to say that some companies either don't have the time or the creativity or resources to do that? So your company would offer help with that to create those posts? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and another, and other things too, that I'm a part of is like, we we're working with podcast companies who need everything too. podcast editing. They need um, customized music for their podcast. They need the social media, the SEO show notes. So it's like podcast clients like that. Those are our ideal clients. Okay. And what that's really cool too, because we can offer that because a lot of people don't understand music copywriting and things like that. So it's like, Hey, you want these posts and stuff you offer, you know, customized music and things like that. So that's also cool as well. <laughs> yeah, no, I love yeah. that. And I know that you have a background in music, which naturally yeah. overlaps in the world of creating custom music for your clients in that. I guess my uh, question to kind of dive deeper into this a little bit is how do you get involved with a company like this? Is this something that naturally happened or did you guys go to school to study this specific thing or was it just taking your different skills and putting it together and this became a natural organic thing i guess a lot of my students wonder if i'm interested in doing what trey does is there a specific path or was this something that kind of happened naturally and maybe what skills help with that nice nice good question that's a great question um i think it's a little of everything you said Okay. A lot of it was organic. A lot, some of it was learned. I have a degree in radio TV and it emphasized in audio engineering. So video production, audio production, audio engineering, that's something that I do have a degree in and that I use today. But the scope of what we're doing now wasn't predicted. It just kind of came about in 2017. I wanted to make a record label, Wave Enterprise, Wave Enterprise Records. And I was doing that. I was helping clients. I was actually even developing my audio engineering, putting that to test. And a year later, my wife wanted to travel the world. She was a third grade teacher and I was in sales and management and we were doing fine. We were, you know, young, 24, 25, newlyweds and we we're in the world, but we didn't feel fulfilled. So when she said that, I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm trying to travel. We go, where do you want to go? We went to the Philippines, didn't know anybody. And she's teaching online and when we get there the wi-fi is terrible in manila manila so she couldn't continue teaching online identity crisis who am i as a teacher mm -hmm. and wave enterprise is still doing its thing we start we were actually like travel vlogging and building buzz around whatever wave enterprise was at the time which wasn't what it is today and then at the time i was like well 
I need help with like the graphic side of things, the organization, because the way my brain's set up, I'm a musician. I'm, you know, I'm kind of more flowy. I need more structure. So she stepped in a little over two years ago and just hit the ground running and has become this like crazy business, like the world of business. She has opened it up to my brain and like she's offered this whole nother aspect. So that she's developed things like the SEO, like the graphics, she's a social media expert. And then that helped me develop my music and audio engineering and clients even more strongly because I wasn't spread thin trying to post everything, trying to, you know, so everything is now like a mastermind. And from two years ago, we moved to the Philippines to now it's just grown. Like we used last year, boom, 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 building momentum, building contacts, building ourselves. And then through this year, it's just grown and it's bigger than ourselves. We're scaling now. It's, we actually, and one thing you, I know, Mr. J, this is something like I, I look back and you were always inspiring to my sister, to myself. And I, I, I'm just now starting to understand maybe how that feels because over the years, I'm sure you inspired so many students and we were working so hard and now we actually have things to show for it. We have value to add to the whatever marketplace that is, we actually are making a positive difference. And like, we're hearing people say, yo, I'm so inspired. I actually got a remote job or I'm inspired to travel. I'm actually doing these things or I'm just inspired to live more free. And like, based off of what we've done in just a short amount of time. And it's, to answer your question, it's organic and the responses and the feedback from it proves that it was it was organic, but we built on our strengths. My, my wife went to school for teaching and she used, there's so many transferable skills. And that's what she talks about when she's consulting and coaching people is like, I was a teacher, I had these transferable skills. So what I went to school with didn't really work out, but I learned so much in the process. Same with me, sales. Like I, I went to school for what I'm doing now, but I learned sales and the psychology of selling and the buyer, the buyer, you know, seller thing. I learned that. And And just now I get to do exactly what I study, music and audio engineering. And like, so it was a little of both. That's that's life. It's balance. You got to have a little of both. I love it. And I love how you guys, uh, the big term right now is pivot, right? But that's really what you guys did. You took your gifts and skills and your passions and purpose, and you retwisted into something that not only seems rewarding to you, you obviously are passionate about it and enjoy it, but it also can make you money to sustain your life, right? I mean, that's important. We all got to work to make money too. So to be able to find those creative outlets, but also in a way that uh, allows you to be successful, that's a beautiful thing. So I'm really glad you mentioned that because again, sometimes in high school, I feel like we accidentally paint this picture that there's like one specific set way to get to a job. And as you just pointed out, that's that's not true. You gain skills from everything and can twist that into what you need it to be. So I love that you brought that up. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So with that in mind, so we got you got your hands in a lot. You're you're uh, editing audio. You're creating custom music. You're figuring out how to optimize. So when I search that company's area, they're coming at the top. You're coaching yeah. other businesses. Wow. All right. So with that in mind, now where you are and looking back, is there anything skill wise that in high school you would have mentioned or to our students like these are some great things that I found beneficial now in my life that if you can grow in those skills now it help you or any advice to our uh, young students that are looking, of course, a couple of years away now into where am I headed? Where am I going? Anything you could give it advice that would just help them along the way. Absolutely. There's a lot that we learn that we have to learn in life, like on our own. And I think a couple of things, one thing is it's people, it's people. People are important, regardless of the way they look, the way they dress, the way they act, what they believe in. People are important. They make the business decisions, whether it's Walmart or this major brand, someone at the top is still a person, or you come to the Philippines and you see who's actually running the store. It's, it's people. And those are the people that give you your breaks. Those are the people that inspire you. So I think it's important to pay attention to people and to be better by people, like be a good person. And that's how you better align with other people and your people, your tribe. And to piggyback off of that as well, I think one thing that has been really crazy to realize in my last 10 years from graduating high school is that 
just embracing change, yeah. embracing change and connecting with people is very, very important. Um, those aren't topics taught in school. Like no offense, chemistry is right. very important, but change and connecting to people is not there's not a course in college for that. And getting along with people, when my wife was a third grade teacher, she gave that uh, uh, education, but her thing was like working together, being able to cooperate. And so you might have to be stuck, you might be stuck in a job where you're working with someone where you really don't like them or don't believe in their beliefs, but you have to get this other vision done together. I think that is huge. Thank you for bringing that up. And you're absolutely right. I think all of us teachers know that we're just trying to simply give a foundational education, but that you're right. Reality and life as we grow up and the experiences is one of the, is the greatest teacher. And as you said, who we are in high school is definitely not who we end up being as an adult. And that's from our experiences and learning. But I agree with you, connecting with humans, listening to others, taking in their points of view, even if you don't agree, is going to simply I, allow you to connect better with people and hopefully have a more fulfilled life. I want to say one thing, and this is about you, and this is what you've been preaching all along. Like, and, and you know, I look back and you've been so consistent and persistent in your message and because like you're a teacher, you teach us our foundation, but you add so much more to our education. Like. When I think of Mr. J, I think of like exactly what I'm talking about. I still had to learn it on my own, but you were preaching it like in the hallways, you're holding signs and you're, you know, and, and it stuck with me. It, it like opened it again. I'm like, this is what Mr. J was talking about. Like I've had those moments. I really mean, I'm not just saying that. Like, Understood. I think it's important what you're doing, man. And I really appreciate you. Wow. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. I'm humbled. So of course. With everything in that said, uh, we're, congrats on your success with your business and exciting you. that you're growing it, and that you're going to be hiring even more people on, which is, a, like you said, a wonderful problem to have. Uh, I think you painted a great picture to students that we use the skills we have and not be afraid to continue to grow and learn. Like you said, you guys are taking courses and not afraid to get dig in to learn more. And I think like, learning never stops. And I know that when we spoke prior, you said that and brought that up many a times. And I thought that was a beautiful thing. And you're, you're living it, you and your wife both. So I just, yeah, man. I really appreciate your time. And I know you're busy, but from on behalf of myself and students in the Sandberg family, congrats on your success. I hope to run into you next time you're in the United States. <laughs> and be cool, uh, man. You know, best of luck with everything. I look forward to watching on LinkedIn how you guys are doing, okay? Yes, man. Mr. J, thank you so much for having me.